All right, folks. Hope you're doing good on this beautiful day. I am in Northeast Tennessee, and I'm so thankful to be here. Folks, put your thinking cap on. And this is for you smart Alex out there, you trolls. Listen, I know that this system is not to code. I'm not stupid. Huh? I am not telling you to do something that is against code. This is for places where there is no code. Uh, this is uh, in situations where maybe there is code, but you got to do something quick for an emergency, and it's only temporary, huh? Because the law to live it trumps all laws and all codes. Get what I'm saying? This is better than having sewage run up on the ground. Stick to code if you can, if there's any way possible. Uh, the code's there for a reason. Code's a good thing. Anyway, uh, this is for those who live in remote areas. Uh, maybe you're, you've got a shop, a cabin, whatever the case may be, but especially for those who live in other countries where there is no code. Uh, it's way better than pooping outside just on the ground. Yeah, it is, folks. And uh, think about the folks in Ukraine right now. Oh, so many of them can use something like this. Yeah. And so, so many of my videos do help folks who live in other countries. So keep your smart aleck remarks to yourself. Really don't care to hear them. Uh, you can't talk to stupid. Remember that. Anyway, folks, so let's move on. I will take the camera and go down in there and show you everything. But I want to just do a, a basic overview of this thing. This is the inlet. This is where everything will come in. And remember... Remember, the inlet, the in, inlet has to be higher than the outlet on every one of these barrels. This is a three-barrel septic system. The inlet has to be higher than the outlet. So this is about one inch higher than where it goes out. This is the inlet. Let's let's just say there's a a twenty-unit apartment complex up here. Uh -huh. And we come on down here with the poop, and it flows in. Well, this is the inlet. It is one inch higher than the outlet. The outlet is one inch lower than the inlet. Understand that. That way, every time a drop of water comes in, a drop of water goes out. Now, this will stay full of liquid. It has no holes in it. And it will stay full of liquid, and it will hold the solid. We have a door on there. We'll, we'll go over all this. We have a door on there. That way we can pump out the solid. All right, folks. So I, I made sure that this barrel, it may not look like it, but I made sure that this barrel is level and that it is a little bit higher than this barrel. And then that way, the pipe going from this barrel into this barrel, which has a T on it, has a sanitary T in the inlet, a sanitary T on the outlet, then a straight pipe into it with no sanitary T. And this barrel is a little lower than that one, so water flows, gravity. Huh? Now on this end of the barrel, on this side of the barrel, this, this outlet is lower than the inlet, right here on this, this part of the barrel. So highest, next to the highest, next to the highest, and then this one's lower than this one. So this has a sanitary tea on it. That's just in case any solids, which they won't get through this tea here, this sanitary tea here, then no solids will get to this barrel. But just in case, I put a sanitary tea and another door on this one. That way I can access that T if need be. All right, and so it flows into this barrel, which is just a straight pipe. And then we'll show you the other end of this barrel in a minute. Uh, it, I've got a pipe coming out with an elbow on it. Uh, anyway, so you can see, oh my goodness, you can see the holes. This barrel has holes in it, and then the next barrel, this barrel has holes in it. And they are about halfway down, and they're in the bottom of the barrels. Just these two barrels, just these two last barrels. The holes are in the bottom of the barrels as, as well. And then that way, we've got water that seeps out. Now, 
you can add to this or, or do many different things, but uh, we're not doing those today. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, folks, so, uh, all right, well, let's, uh, let's go on down in the hole. It's not the safest hole, but uh, let's go on down in the hole and uh, check her out. Bear with me, folks. Oh, I'm old. Grandpa is old. I'm congested, having a little trouble talking and breathing out of the same hole. And that is my mouth. Huh? All right, folks. So let's see here. All right, so I used a, I used a, I believe it's a inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter uh, uh, hole uh, thing, a uh, hole saw, inch and a quarter hole saw, and then that way everything is really tight. Now you can see just a little bit of light through there but it's tight folks as tight as it's going to get now this is a septic system and they're not really watertight so i'm not worried about caulking and all of that all right see what we've done here now let's look at this door where is my stick hang on folks i'm gonna get my stick all right so see the door now, well, you can use anything. I don't want to hear it. Oh, that's going to rust out and blah, 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 blah. That'll be just fine. It'll last for decades. That is a door hinge. Now, this is a ball latch for a door. And that is because you need a piece of metal here to catch this part of the barrel. Now, now let me give you some advice here. When you make this door cut, make the hinge cut first. Stop what you're doing, put your saws all down, and put this hinge on. And then that way you'll have a good even, yeah, you won't have to worry about it. Now, as you can see, I've just let my screws do their thing. I could care less. It's not like folks are going to be in and out of here. All right. Remember, this is the highest point, it's the highest T, it's the highest pipe. It is as high as I could get it. This sanitary T we're fixing to look at with this pipe is one inch lower, one inch lower than this one. And then this one is lower, this one is lower than this one. And so on and so on, folks, common sense. How do you like that? All right, hang on, folks. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to try to get you in here. Take a peek at that other T. All right, let's lift the door up. I don't have any room. I'm in this hole. See it? This is a little bit lower than this one. It doesn't look like it, but it is, folks. I promise you. It's one inch or maybe just a little less lower than this one. And then you see how I've got the extension down there? That is because uh, a cap will form on top here of toilet paper. And then the poop will gather in the bottom. And it'll be actually just what we call clean water in the middle. And that's what it will go out here is clean water. All right, I'm trying not to fall. Try not to just destroy everything, folks. All my hard work. All right, let's take a look. And so it's just a straight pipe. It's just a just a straight pipe coming in here. Now I did put a coupling on it, three inch coupling, and that is to just helps hold it in place. You don't have to do that. All right, hang on, folks. I am falling everywhere and we're going to take you off in here oh that way i can deal with this there we go there we go all right so 
Same here. Now this whole barrel here is lower than the other barrel, the first barrel. And you can see my holes. I don't know what this uh, barrel had in it. Some kind of sweet hickory vanilla flavor or something. But uh, see all them holes on the bottom. See all the holes on the side. It's all around the side just like that. Just like that. And that'll get us drainage. Now this, uh, this will drain without any issue. All right, folks. So this barrel is a little lower than this barrel. And you can see I dropped, I dropped my hole saw down just a little and put in a, another pipe. Now that pipe goes straight in there. It's just a straight pipe. And then I have a straight pipe going in over here or coming out over here, which is lower than this pipe. It's lower than this pipe. And then, folks, listen, you want to use, uh, if you're going to use a 90, make, just make sure you use a long sweep or 245s. 245s make a long sweep 90. And so I just got her wedged in there. But uh, you can do anything. You can just pull this all the way up and put another pipe on it. And, uh, you know, or you can run it out this way and run it 10 feet or so or 20 feet or five feet or whatever and uh yeah add to it add to it folks so you can do what you want to at the end you don't have to have this you don't have to drill a hole you don't have to have it this is absolutely sufficient let's get up on this ladder absolutely sufficient folks 20 20 unit apartment complex coming down coming in hi huh? you get the drift that's it folks just what you got sitting around the house now this is dirt cheap i mean dirt cheap and uh this will take a lot it'll take a lot i guarantee you that let's get on up here Anything else? I don't think there's anything I'm missing here, folks. This is the three barrel, three barrel septic system right here. Um, now, as far as these doors go, the barrels with the doors on them, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a 2 by 12 a 2 by 10 a two by four, whatever, two by six, and or a piece of pressure treated plywood. Make sure it's all pressure treated, or a piece of steel, and run it over. You're gonna want to run it over this. Of course, if you use two by fours, you'll need several. Piece of plywood, just throw it over the top. Throw it over the top. That way, folks aren't falling in, and the weight of the dirt doesn't crush the door in. Got it? Now these barrels are sturdy and strong. They're going to take the dirt without any issue. Of course, I dug this with a uh, excavator. I will cover it back up with a shovel. At least, you know, so far up. Remember, highest point is your inlet. Then this is the next highest point, the outlet of the first barrel. The next highest point, which is lower than this point, lower, even lower, even lower, and even lower. And then so you can come off here. Now you can you can turn this 90 up. It's 245s, but it's a long sweep 90. You can turn it up and just monitor things. Huh? And then uh, because this doesn't have a sanitary T on it, it's just a straight pipe in there. Uh, you can turn it up and monitor things. And then if you see this thing, oh no, you know, it's been three years and it's saturated here. It's not taking any more liquid. So all you've got to do, folks, is, is come back, dig out this way, dig down through here, and put you some more barrels in. That's all you got to do. 
and you'll literally just picture this pipe being up you will flip this pipe over put a coupling on it and run it right into the next barrel hi huh? oh so simple so simple folks the three barrel septic system you you can't beat this system here you can't beat it especially if you got good soil you can't beat it folks nope now we could have stretched this out and set these barrels much further apart as far as you want 10 foot 20 foot apart and that would have been better but uh, that's a lot of digging it's a lot of digging and uh, this is going to work just fine now remember no holes in this one you want this to always be full of liquid it'll always be right to the bottom of that pipe right there it'll stay there all the time and that's what you want and then that way the solids build up in the bottom the poop the toilet papers on top and every time a drop comes in from the 20 unit apartment complex uh, a drop goes out because it's right there it goes into this and then this seeps into the ground and then when this starts to get full it'll go over here and do the same thing here and this will probably never go over into this one but then like i said folks this is this is a little extra for you if i was you i'd put this on there i would run the pipe up this way i would monitor it and then if i ever needed to i just simply dig put more barrels in and just push that pipe over this way put a coupling on it run it right into my barrel doggone it folks you, you can't get no better than that anyway yeah all right folks anything else i can't think of anything else now this was a lot of work just to make a video and hopefully it'll help someone and hopefully you're not a troll Hopefully you'll understand what we've done here and how we're thinking. Huh? How we're thinking. We want to keep to code, folks. This is for folks who don't have code. This is for folks in other countries. This is for the Ukrainian. This is for the Ukrainian folks whose house has been bombed and destroyed. And Yeah. Think about it for a minute. Anyway, anything else? Anything else? Yeah, not really. Now, another thing you can do is you can take this and, you know, run it run it uh, horizontally and then maybe get away from the tank a little bit and then turn it up and don't have it any higher than the tank top. Turn it up with a, just a 190 degree elbow and then you can put your pop-up on it and then that way you will see if this thing ever quits working the sewage will come out here so in other words you'll have a 90 here and you'll run it straight out horizontally and then you'll put another 90 on the end of it with a pop-up a pop-up and uh, if this thing ever gets full the sewage will liquid will just it'll be just liquid it'll just it'll come up here and pump you'll see it and know what to do then i shut her down so the solid stays in here because of the T I showed you. Then just liquid goes over here. And if any solid get in, gets in there, that's fine. We've got another T, a sanitary T set up right here. And, and, and it'll make sure that none, no solid gets over here for sure. That's it, folks. High 19, 20 minutes of nothing but high sophisticated talking huh this is it folks remember gravity septic is simple very primitive and it's all about gravity that's all you have to think about you want to hold the solid and let the liquid go via gravity hold the solid and let the liquid go via gravity now hey it's important that you have this sanitary tee right here and that you add an extension to it on the bottom of about a foot or so. It's important that you have this sanitary tee on this end right here. You've seen it. Go back and look at it again. I'm not getting back down there. It's important. 
that you have this sanitary tea here that keeps the solid over in this tank and that's what you want no holes in this tank folks you don't want just solid dumping in there without any liquid no holes in this tank all the holes you want over here now i didn't put a ton of holes in over here because we did some uh, three quarter inch holes and that is plenty you know i mean this hole when it let's say this one here when it water gets to here it's going to saturate everything just with the one hole but we put other holes in there just in case this hole gets clogged up or something you know we got plenty to work with plus there's holes in the bottom holes in the bottom Anyway, folks, that is it, the three-barrel septic tank system. Sorry for the shakiness and all of that business, but it is what it is. This is real life, folks, real life. All right, folks, this thing didn't cost me anything. I did buy the uh, sanitary teas. Everything else I had, I bought the stuff, but it's just been a long time ago, so stuff just sitting around. Got these off of a job, the barrels, and uh, yeah. We'll see you.